Shalom everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So for today, in our segment Life Lessons 101 with Johanna, our topic is about the lessons I learned from the biggest failure in my life. Hmm. Yes, guys, I want to share with you um, some of the biggest failures in my life and what are the lessons I learned from them. Hmm. So let's begin. First, I failed in getting a visa to the United States. Yes, this is true, guys. So I was about 20 years old and I just finished um, graduating from college. I was one of those lucky people who get hired directly by a company. I have this job offer from Oklahoma in a Holiday Inn hotel and they want to get me as one of their staff or employee in the hotel in Holiday Inn in Oklahoma. So they sent to me all the requirements that I need to prepare and they told me that I will have an H2B visa which is a seasonal visa so I need to work in the United States for six months and yeah so I prepared everything I need to prepare and I told it to my parents and you know they're so happy and you know it was like it was like I, it's one of my happiest day in my life as well because you know there are so many people in the world and you're one, one and you are one of them that they want to hire so you know and i tried to prepare for my interview in manila you know i failed not only once but twice really and i was so devastated before because you know when you were young and you're just starting to dream in your life and you know you just didn't know why things happen the way it should be because it's always been my dream to go to the United States and to work there and I thought this is the great opportunity for me and also I want to help my family I want to help my parents so during those times you know you need to pay for all your visa interview and during my time when I am um, applying for the US visa for us it's expensive it costs a lot of money and I remember my mom um, went with me twice and you know, when you failed in the interview, they will just send it right away to your face. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but we're not giving you the visa. And they told me that I don't have such a strong economic ties in the Philippines. I was so young back then. I was 20 years old. Of course, I don't have yet everything like land title. And But, you know, I cried so hard during that time. Like, I didn't went out like a week or two weeks because really... I was expecting more that I will be able to do it, that I will be able to work in the United States, but it doesn't just work out the way you want it to be. And I was questioning God, I was asking Him, why, why you don't want me to go to the United States? Why you don't want me to work there? What, what is your reason? And I couldn't understand it at first. So after that, you know, I was really, really um, um, sad and I was really crying because, you know, it was like crushing my dreams you know like you are just i as i've told you you're so young and you just started to build up your dreams that you want to work hard you want to earn money and just you want to help your family and just in the blink of an eye it was just crushed down in front of you they just crush it in front of you like i'm sorry but we cannot give you the visa you failed and you're not going to the us so when i give it away um another door opened for me so i was able to go to singapore so they another agency offered me uh, a job to singapore so i went to singapore instead and in singapore um it really changed my life like 100 100 percent like you know i became a believer um i was baptized i came to know god i came to know adonai i came to have a family i came to faith in the lord because i went and worked in singapore so on that time during that time you just really don't understand why things happening that way or why it should happen that way so you know i have a lot of questions in my mind like lord why you don't allow me to go to the united states what is your plan for me but you know after all these years i'm 29 now and after like nine years now i got all the answers it's like the answers will not be right there in front of you right now but you know like yeshua said you will not understand what i am doing right now but soon you will understand it's really true there's a lot of things going on in our life that we cannot understand why it's happening but you know in his time he will reveal it to you 
And now I came to understand it that I grow in faith in him. I know him more because I went to Singapore, I worked there, I met my church family. I became more close to him during that time. And yeah, so I can say that um, during this time that I failed not only once or twice during my US visa interview, actually it paved me a way to explore more the world as it is now because now I'm traveling to a lot of countries. I'm traveling to Europe, I'm traveling to United Kingdom and yes, soon I want to go to United States and to Canada as well. So sometimes we don't understand why certain things fall into the into the place that we don't want it to be and soon you will understand it we will understand it and soon god will let us understand why certain things happen into our life secondly i failed in getting the job i want i was a graduate of bachelor of tourism so i started working um in singapore first in a, i work in a it's like a it's 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 like a restaurant. Yeah, it's it's a restaurant in a Marina Bay Sands and and I think you all you all know about it. It's like a part of Breath Talk. I work in Toast Box. So yeah, so I when I went to Singapore, I I first worked in Toast Box. But you know, to tell you guys honestly, I am not good like in food and beverage, like you know, like 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 becoming a waiter or or getting I just don't know, you know, like whenever I hold the tray, it's like that or break something. I always said to you, no, and it's because I am not, I am not created or I am not supposed to work like this way. But you know, sometimes God will place us into a certain place that you're not comfortable with, that you are inconvenient, that, it, that is inconvenient for you, just for you to learn something, just for you to realize something. And you know, I when I work with the FNB, I was so bad at it. To tell you honestly, guys, I don't know why. It's like I'm doing my best, but still I'm not good at it. I don't know, but this is not the job that I want to have. But I did it and I made it. I finished my contract. And God sometimes gave you a thing that you don't want so you can learn to appreciate things in life. This is some of the things I learned. So when I work on that time, it was really hard for me. And as I mentioned to you, like I break so many, <laughs> so many things. And you know, I even, I experienced washing a lot of plates, like a tons, tons, tons of plates. I think I wrote it in one of my book that when I first work, when I experienced this kind of work, this is, the, this is the place and time that I wrote my first song to God, that I started writing my book. Because these are one of the toughest, toughest moments in my life. And I even asked God, I didn't even see myself doing these things. But He let me experience it. He let me experience it because soon I will be able to bear fruit. Soon I will be able to write and publish my own book. Soon I will be able to tell to you guys right now my testimony on how God changed my life completely. So He let me go through all those processes in life. So, you know, I, I failed to get the job that I really want during those times. And after that, I worked into the, into the sales for two years yeah so i think yeah two years after that i work in sales of course where you know like selling clothes i love fashion so much but i know as well that this is something that i will not do for my entire life like i will not do this job for so long i tried to apply to have a job like an office job for a tourism company you know for a travel agency because this is what i really want i really want to work in a tourism industry because i was a graduate of tourism i really want to work specifically in a travel agency that is focused primarily the land of israel like those travel agency that have the tour going to israel so i tried to really apply to a lot of tour agency in singapore um that dealings with uh tourists in going to and from israel singapore and anywhere like a office job like a tourism job in 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 and in singapore 
I tried, I tried, and I failed. I got an interview and I failed. I wasn't able to get the job that I want. And I didn't know why. Second time, I'm asking God. I said, Lord, what is wrong? What is wrong with me? Is there something wrong? Is there something wrong um, that um, my prayers are not had not been answered? What is happening? Why, why, I, why I'm not having the job that I wanted? And then that time, I really cannot understand why. I said, Lord, what is missing? What is missing? What is missing in me? What I have done or something? But you know, now I understand. When I move and come here in Israel, the Lord showed me something beautiful and amazing. When I came here last September 2016, after three months, I got my working visa right away, which I considered really a miracle for something that just moved to Israel and getting your working visa in just very, very small time. It was like, wow, miracle. <laughs> after three months, I got my working visa. And after that, I met a friend in Israel, which I met because of this job that I have in Singapore. So we met and she told me, I have a friend that have a tourism company in Israel. So maybe you want to apply? don't have yet a job so I'm volunteering I'm having volunteer work so I told her okay why not so I want to apply because it's a tourism company so I tried to apply so I sent my resume and then few days after that few days they called me I went to the office for interview and on that same day I was hired amazing and I was hired by a company which is one of the largest incoming tour operator in Israel and one of the most established company so now I'm currently working there and it's a blessing it's a blessing to me you know God didn't give me something that I want before when I was in Singapore because he will give me the best and not only that he doesn't he only doesn't give me the work in Singapore which only focus on the tourism and everything that coming here in Israel but when I came here in Israel he really gave me a tour company and the travel agency and an incoming tour operator agency that really holding and working with all those travel agencies that I have applied before it was amazing it was really amazing like you know I'm just applying for one travel agency in Singapore but now here in Israel I was able to communicate with them now i am there i am their main uh main contact here in israel amazing it's amazing how god works sometimes really don't understand why certain things happen but it was just really marvelous and amazing when you when god told you that and when god revealed to you that that's why certain things happen it's because of this and from that time you will have the realization that wow Really, God, you have an amazing plan for me, an amazing plan to my life. It's so really amazing. So, yeah, I experienced that thing. Third, as you all know, I have a failed relationship, you know? And the experience having been, um, as, as I shared in my first Life Lessons 101 with Johanna, I shared with you how I have failed relationship before, so, but that leads to something beautiful that I have now. Now I have a happy marriage, I have the perfect husband for me, and it is enough. And it's because I experienced failure and I trusted in God's timing. During the times that we failed, we learned something from it, and it's very important. Fourth, I have failed getting my book published on the first time so you know I tried to email a lot of publishing company and I failed not only once twice twice but I kept trying you know I tried and tried and finally I was able to publish it in life when you don't experience failure or when you never failed you will never learn to try to try things so when experience being um, when experience these failures in life, it's just encouraged me to try even more. I will never give up and I will never stop until I succeed. It gives me this kind of encouragement to myself that Johanna, you can do it. Even if you failed a lot of times, you will stand up and you will do it. So I have this kind of uh, a fighting spirit 
that you know whenever I fell down it just encouraged me more to do to do more to be better for me those times that I failed are the times that I became stronger I think failure makes us who we are and it builds us you know for me those failures in my life taught me to become stronger bolder and mold me in what I am now fifth I have failed managing my finances I really struggle with money before like I cannot uh, save because first of all when I have my salary before when I was working in Singapore I'm sending them to my family I was able to let my brother finish college I don't know how to handle my finances so much before and I have failed on that but you know through times God told me on how to manage my money it was really amazing on how God works into my life I have savings also you know have savings both of us have separate savings and we have a business in the Philippines as well so you know how God really turned your life around and it was amazing because I was it is one of the things that I failed with I failed with managing my finances but now I'm completely free from it and wow it was really exciting guys and if I was going to tell you how the miracles God has brought to my life we will never stop talking to each other <laughs> it is amazing it's really amazing how he works and you know I am sharing with you all this testimony and all this story to give him all the glory because I always tell it to all of you guys that I owe everything to him. What I have now and what I will have in the future, it's all because of him. And the most important thing is God knows what's in your heart. He knows what your desires. He knows if your intentions are pure or not. He knows everything. He knows you. He knows you more than you know yourself because he created you. So today, guys, I just want to share with you that all of these failures that I have experienced in life mold me to the woman that I am now and all those failures will really make you realize on how much um, God turned your life from ashes to beauty it's amazing it's really amazing so guys hope you learned something from my blog and I hope that it blessed you and I hope to see you again on my next blog bye